The best way to get these files from your hard drive and up to your web server is by using what's known as an FTP program. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. The program I use and lots of other people use is called FileZilla. And FileZilla is free and very powerful and very easy to use. So to locate it, go to your search engine, type in FileZilla and it should be the number one result. So if we go there and download it okay make sure you download the one that you um, require it's the client download and mine's for windows you could have linux or mac etc so once you've done that download it and install it on your pc and i'll see you on the other side okay once you've downloaded and installed filezilla open it up and it should look something like this you can see there are various window panes then you can toggle them on and off using these toggle buttons here. I have them all pressed, so you'll see something like this. On this left hand side are the files on your local site, that's your hard drive. And on this side will be the directory of what's on your web host. And first we need to connect to the web host. That's this button here. So if you click on that, it opens the site manager. When you first download it, you won't have any sites on there like I have. You'll have to make a new site and you'll have to type in your host name, your FTP username and your FTP password. You can get all these off your web host. The one I'm going to use, I've already set up on newbiemarketingcourse.com. So your host will be of the name ftp.yourwebsite.com. Then your username and then your password click connect you'll see in this window pane the progress now once it's successful you'll see the files on your remote site now typically you want to navigate to your public HTML account now yours will probably be empty if it's brand new but I've already got lots here already next we need to locate those files we wish to upload which as you recall are on the desktop contained in the folder my first website and there they are the images the index the other web pages and the style sheet so we're just going to highlight all those by control and click each one then it's right click upload and you can see in this window it starts uploading If it's only a few files, it'll be very quick. If you've got lots of files and large images, it'll be a bit slower. But once it's done, it's successful. And you close that down. Okay. Open up your web browser again. Type in your domain name. Okay, and there's our website. Home page, contact us page, the about us page, and the video. Okay, I hope you agree that wasn't too difficult. It might help you if you watch all these videos again from the beginning, just to reinforce the ideas. And then I wish you all the very best of success in creating your own websites. Thanks very much and have a great day.